Uh, Coach Richard, congratulations. You are the champions of South Ivory Super League and you've also been promoted to the regional league. Uh, how does it feel? Uh, it feels quite good. Uh, I'm proud of the boys. It's not just me. The boys have been working hard. We've been preparing about six to seven weeks for this opportunity. Uh, we came here to do a job. Uh, we got a bit lucky in the quarterfinals, but I think in the semis and finals, we acted like true professionals and showed our quality. Uh, coach, at times it seemed like it was too easy for you, scoring five goals uh, and scoring so many goals. I, mean, I had to score about 18 in the, in the group stages. Was it that easy or maybe the score is deceiving? I think, I think we were a bit more disciplined. I think we, we, we wanted to sort of punish teams. We wanted to score goals. The boys are hungry. You know, uh, if you have to be hungry to score goals, no matter if you're winning by 1-0, 2-0, the best opportunity is not give a side to come back in the game. You'd be 4, 5, 6, and then you can enjoy it. So that's what we did. We spoke about it. Last year we led, we were 1-0 up in the semi-finals, and we threw it away. So this time we came more prepared, and we said we wanted to score more goals, not give any other team a chance. Uh, Coach, your team was amongst uh, the team that were most entertaining, scored a lot of goals, played good football. Uh, what is your, your team's philosophy and uh, uh, tactical approach? Well, uh, it depends on the teams. Uh, we like to keep the ball. We like to play. But at stages, I tell them, you know, you can't dominate a game for 90 minutes. Other teams are also going to have the ball. And we have to do our job defensively. So I think as much as we are as a good attacking side, we are a good defensive side. If you look at it, I think we only conceded four goals in the whole tournament, which is also very good. Uh, coach, at times there were some uh, instances of cussy flavor there and uh, I, I looked at you when it happened and you are not uh, irritated or angry. You seem to encourage it but in the right areas. Yeah, exactly that. As long as they're doing the right areas and they enjoy it and not lose the ball because the most important thing you can do the cussy stuff but as long as you don't lose the ball in your own half, it's sharp. Lose it there, we can always recover, regroup and go together. If it builds a bit of confidence and makes a player give a quality cross with a, a bit of cussy, I'll take it any day of the week. Uh, coach, uh, you are going to the regional league. Uh, quickly, uh, mm. give us a summary. Who is Alpha Team FC? Uh, we are a proud club. Um, we're from Alberton. We've got a lot of juniors. We're doing well with our juniors at the moment. We're probably one of the biggest clubs in, the, in uh, amateur football with juniors. And we're trying to build up. This is a great stepping stone for Alberton Football Club. The juniors have got something to go for. And obviously, we're looking for new players all the time. So this, is, to me, it's a great opportunity for the youth to come down in Alberton, Forsteris, that side area, to come down and come play at Alberton Football Club. Uh, coach, going to the regional league, you've got a good squad yeah. here. Do you think we need maybe to strengthen it a bit for the regional league? Obviously, we, we, uh, we haven't been there, so we don't know what we're going to get. But obviously, we're always looking for players. Stronger players, better players, and uh, whatever. If, if I can find Messi's or Ronaldo's, I'll take them. You know, it's it's what we need. You can't just rely on the players you have. If there's a better player, I'll take him. Coach, once again, thank you very much for your time and congratulations. Thank you.